What's going on, everybody? Spunky991 coming to you guys with another video. So, ESPN recently put out a list of um, their all retirement lists, and they mentioned two um, former Eagle players on that list. Those two former players, of course, being defensive end Chris Long and defensive tackle Haloli Nada. I'm going to read to you guys what um, ESPN had to say about these two players, and of course, I'm going to give my thoughts afterwards. So, with that said, let me go ahead and get started. Uh, it starts off saying that Chris Lone and Haloli Nada both walked away from the game they truly love, and the two former Eagles are basking in the opportunity to rest, enjoy family, and not start the countdown to training camp. Long and Nada joined the Long and Nada joined the Patriots legend Rob Gronkowski, who also retired after a Hall of Fame NFL career. Uh, here's what they first say about Haloli Nada. They say that. Um, the, the, the first defensive lineman the Baltimore Ravens ever selected in their first round did not disappoint over a 13-year NFL career. Including nine with the Baltimore Ravens, Nada earned two first-team All-Pro all nods, five Pro Bowls, and one Super Bowl championship. Good luck moving the ball against Halona Nada, Terrell Suggs, and Ray Lewis back in the day. Here's what they have to say about Chris Lone. Um, they said that Lone's ability on the field stand stand alone but the way he ended his 11 year career elevated his profile he was he was a um he, he was a key member of the two of the two Super Bowl teams the Eagles and the Patriots and became and became the 2018 uh, recipient of the of the Walter Payton uh, Man of the Year award long became known as long long became known as much for giving up paychecks for social causes as for sacks um, Nada finished his career with 519 total tackles, 32.5 sacks, 40 pass defended, uh, uh, 5 interceptions, and 7 forced fumbles, a run stuffer, and a pass rusher from, uh, from the defensive tackle position. Nada tallied 269 pressures, 63 quarterback, quarterback hits, and 160 hurries, and 294 stops in his career. Lone, a unanimous All-American selection at Virginia, was drafted by the St. Louis Rams second overall in the 2008 NFL Draft. During his tenure with the Eagles, Lone had 53 pressures, 30, um, 30, hurries, um, and, and 30 hurries, and 12 stops. He finishes his Eagles career with 20 quarterback hits, 6.5 sacks, and two forced fumbles. He finishes, he finishes his career at defensive end with 329 tackles, 70 sacks, um, and, and Super Bowl titles with the Philadelphia Eagles and the New England Patriots. So first and foremost, um, I want to say congratulations on, to both of these men on um, no, two very, very, you know, very, very good, you know, great careers, man, to both of these guys, man. Congratulations to both of you guys, man. Um, both of these guys will probably be down the road considered, you know, they'll at least be considered for Hall of Fame, you know, induction down the road. So, first and foremost, congratulations to both of them. Um, Hello to Nada obviously signed with the Eagles in 2018 for one season. You know, he wanted to end his, you know, he wanted to end his career, you know, trying to get a Super Bowl ring. It obviously didn't happen, but he did get one obviously with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, he was, he was, he was very, very late in his career. Um, you know, so. He decided to hang it up after this offseason. Best of luck to Nada. Um, he's a Baltimore Raven. You know, that's where he spent most of his career. Being an Eagles fan that lives in Baltimore, you no, know, the way they love him in Baltimore, man, the way they love him down there, you know, he's absolutely a um he he's a hero down there in Baltimore. So that's truly where he belongs. But I am proud to say that he played for the Eagles at least one year in his career, you know, the last year of his career. I am proud to say that. Best of luck to the big guy, hello to Nada in his retirement. Uh, Chris Long obviously signed with the Eagles um, in 2017. You know, he signed with the Eagles, um, helped the Eagles win the Super Bowl. Um, he obviously played He played in 2018 with the Eagles as well. Um, 2019, he, he was he was debating whether he was going to come back or not. You know, um, he felt like he, his role was obviously reduced in 2000. And, um, in 2018, he felt like his role was reduced. And he decided this, this um, offseason that he was going to hang it up. You know, he made it very clear that um, if the Eagles really didn't need him, he wasn't coming back. And obviously, he felt like the Eagles um, didn't need him. Um, I wish Chris Long up with the very best. It would have been great to have Long back for another year. But at the end of the day, man, um, I'm very happy for him. You know, I'm very happy for him. He's had a great career. Um, both of these guys, just class acts, both on and off the field. Chris Long, you know, 
It's a rarity you go find a player that's going to give up a paycheck, but this guy gave up an entire season of paychecks in 2017 with the Eagles, man, you know, for a cause that he believe in. And for that, I salute you, Chris Long. Nothing but respect for you, man. Like I said, just a complete class act both on and off the field. He stood up for his teammates, you know, such as Michael Jenkins with their right to uh, to kneel or whatever to protest. So to get the guys, just a class act, you know, and – you know, it would have been nice to have him back for one more year. I was hoping he would have came back for one more year. But when they when when it, when it got down to it, man, it was obvious that um he wasn't one hundred percent committed to it. And I made quite a bit of videos on this subject. But if you're not committed to it, man, then yeah, it's time to hang it up. So I'm glad he did not drag this out until um you know training camp, whatever, which it looked like it could have been heading toward. So I'm glad he decided, hey man, I've had a great career, you know. I got nothing. To, I got you no know, nothing to be ashamed of, man. I laid out on the field, man. I've had a good career, and I'm glad he decided to hang it up, man. And I and I just wish Chris Long up with the very best, man. Um, he spent most of his career with the St. Louis Rams, obviously, but to me, that guy right there, man, will always have a special place, you know, in the, in the hearts of Eagle fans. He definitely will, because he, cause he, he, you know, he he was definitely a great contributor. You know, <clears throat> during his time here in Philadelphia, during his two seasons with the Eagles, he was definitely a big contributor. Like I said, helped us win the Super Bowl. So, thank you, Chris Long. Um, thank you, Nada, for your one season with Philadelphia. Like I said, I wish both of these guys nothing but the very best in their retirement. Both of these guys will probably be, probably, you know, um, they'll probably be considered for Hall of Fame, you know, consideration down the road. We'll see. But congratulations to both of you guys for, for making the um, NFL's all-retirement list. You know, best of luck to you guys in, in your post-NFL lives. But um, you guys let me know your thing in the comment section. Um, thank you guys for the continued support of this channel. We are almost there, man, almost at 1,000, 1K. You know, thank you guys for the continued support, man. Um, once I get that 1K, yeah, obviously back to the live streams I'll be doing. But, you no, know, thank you guys as always for the support, man. I do appreciate it. As always, go birds. Spunky Nights 91 is out of here. Fly, go fly. Peace.